How's it going everyone? It's Javi from Weather Sponge 1000 and in this video we're going to focus on the potential of a significant winter storm that could impact the southeast and maybe the northeast in the more long term future as we approach the late November time frame and we're also going to talk about the more short term future with a snowstorm that's expected to move through the midwest that could bring well over 6 inches of snow in some areas in the midwest. So first let's take a look at our, um, our next potential potential snowstorm that could happen right around the November 28th to November 30th time frame. So if we were to continue to move forward with the European model for forecast, so of course in the interior northeast um, for this Wednesday on the eve of Thanksgiving, you should expect heavy snowfall um, right around upstate New York, extending into Vermont and New Hampshire as well. It seems like the rain snow line is going to be a little bit too far north of the Interstate 95 corridor cities to receive any accumulating snowfall, but there should be just enough of a northerly flow that's associated with this trough moving through to allow the cold air to move for a southward um, for um, some of this precipitation, at least along the northern skirts, to change it to snowfall. So you should expect mainly a large area of three to six inches and potentially more than that in the higher elevation. So make sure to prepare for that um, for the Wednesday time frame right around the interior northeast um, areas and um, moving forward beyond this storm system we're gonna see another clipper system well i shouldn't say a clipper system but another mid latitude low that's gonna move through the pacific northwest and not only will it bring moisture but there's gonna be plenty of cold air behind it where we do see a pretty large area of snow moving through wyoming idaho uh, montana and in some areas this could bring six to 10 inches of snow, especially in the higher elevations of Wyoming. This brings snowfall right over Denver, where Denver could see three to six inches of snowfall. Now, there's so uncertainty how large this area of snow will be, but I'll go into detail a little bit later in this video but after this snowstorm what's in um what's interesting is that we're gonna see a low pressure system on the tail end of this one that's gonna linger around right around southern texas um and um as it does so we're gonna see a small low pressure system move through the west coast and then eventually towards southeast and that could trigger our next potential snowstorm if we were to take a look at the november 30th time frame the latest um forecast frame of the european model um 240 hours out we see a pretty powerful low pressure system bringing a heavy amount of rain right over the southeast and just to the north of it we see a clipper system moving through coinciding with it and this low low pressure system is going to want to move to the northeast since there's a ridge that's going to force it up to the northeast and we have another low that's going to be forced towards the southeast um, thanks to this ridge as well that's going to block it from being able to move straight towards the east so if these two systems could merge by the time we approach um the late november into early december time frame that could um we could be in for a very significant winter storm um as we approach the early december time frame for s at least somewhere um along the ohio valley and the northeast and if we were to take a look at what the gfs model is stating of course since is of uh the forecast that's very much in the long-term future there's still days to go but the gfs model is also showing a pretty i wouldn't say a similar a completely similar scenario but it's showing a scenario where this low and this clipper system will almost coincide with each other and we'll see a more powerful low develop just off the northeast coast now this brings mainly the heaviest snowfall right over the interior northeast once again but i certainly wouldn't be surprised that in the next few runs we could see that um this becomes a much more significant snowstorm for the northeast um depending on how um the exact timing of these two low pressure systems and that will really depend on how strong northwesterly flow will be as a slow continues uh um, um is expected to fizzle out by the time we approach the november 25th time frame the same low that's expected to bring some snowfall right over the midwest so if we were to move forward we see that um there's going to be a pr um this low is expected to bring a strong 
northeasterly flow that's gonna allow the arctic air to move further southward and we're gonna see this um upper level low linger around the southeast and eventually um once uh um once another pocket of cold air moves through the west coast we should see the um convective activity begin to intensify right around the southeast and along with this arctic blast i think this could lead to our next snowstorm in the united states um we're gonna still see um how the timing will go and it's still pretty uncertain if this arctic blast will actually come for fruition we're gonna definitely need to see how um, strong the low pressure system located just uh, north of eastern canada is gonna be because that will play a big role um in determining how much instability this upper level low um will encounter but it's at least something to keep in watch um what i could say is that at least somewhere um in the southeast you should experience rainfall right around the late november time frame and then snowfall is certainly a possibility whether it's a major snowstorm or not i will say that at least some sort of snowfall around this period is likely in the northern midwest and the interior northeast the only big question remains is is if this upper level low and this um very cold clip um core clipper system will coincide with each other to create a much more significant event and um as you probably know with the winter time frame when we see an arctic blast this powerful then it's only a matter of time before we see that trigger occur to where a significant snowstorm would develop because um along with an arctic blast typically comes plenty of instability in the united states with a cool arctic air forcing itself down towards a very convective and humid air mass that's located right over the gulf of mexico and the gulf stream of the east coast so there's at least something to be aware of still too early to make any sort of definitive forecasts um since is um, going right around to um, anywhere between um, 198 to 230 hours out um, and the timing is still off between two computer models um, which will be key in making this forecast a little bit more certain but the European model is showing I'll say a more concerning forecast um, because uh, European model if we were to take a look at that one more time does expect uh, just a huge amount of convective activity to occur at this period and we have a pretty solid bull clipper system moving in at around the same time period so definitely gonna pay close attention to this and uh um, um like i said the instability that will be behind this low will be key as well as the trajectory and the timing of these two low press systems so definitely stay tuned for that um over the next um several updates now um, uh, take a look at something more in the more short-term future. We of course had this slow moving through. So, like I said, upstate New York, um, Vermont, New Hampshire, um, and even into Maine, you should expect a large area of three to six inches of snow as the slow continues ahead further eastward. We're gonna see just enough cold air thanks to just enough of a strong northerly flow we saw in the northeast and a clipper system that's gonna move in um at around the same time period um as as this low pressure system by the time we, um, it approaches the northeast and that's gonna bring just enough cold air for the northern outskirts to experience some snowfall so for your thanksgiving travel especially if you're taking flights around this area you definitely need to be aware of that um, scenario and be prepared to maybe make changes to your flight or um, maybe make changes when it comes to your thanksgiving commute because the eve of thanksgiving in the interior northeast might be very difficult for travel especially if you live in the higher elevations and even um and even in the rain stricken areas because it is expected that the new york city metropolitan area and surrounding areas could experience very heavy rainfall associated with this instability we're gonna see quite a bit of cold air behind this low so expect a lot of thunderstorm activity as well as possibility of flash flooding thanks to the enhancement of convective activity associated with stronger instability so be aware of that scenario as well but this forecast is pretty certain at this time i'm not really much more to go over with that if we were to take a look at the snowfall forecast assuming one inch of rain equates a 10 inches of snowfall which isn't always the case but gives a pretty good ballpark estimate of how much snow you should expect 
in the interior northeast. So we do see a pretty large area of six to eight inches of snow, probably closer to the six um, inch range. And you're probably wondering if this snow could maybe impact Boston or Albany, but it's very unlikely those cities will experience accumulating snowfall mainly due to the fact that for Albany, although you're going to be relatively close in proximity to the accumulating snowfall, Albany is still at very low elevation relative to the other areas sur um, surrounding the city. And it's also due to the fact that since Albany is a city, it's going to absorb a lot more sunlight. It's going to radiate a lot more heat. And it's going to, well, I wouldn't say, I shouldn't say a lot more heat, but it's going to radiate just enough um, heat to the point where the temperature difference will be big enough even th um, two to three degrees can make a big enough difference between experiencing six six inches of accumulating so far or no snowfall at all so um, I'll say it's going to be difficult for Albany to receive accumulating snowfall but you might experience some flurries around the Albany area and same goes for Boston as well um, but, um, so definitely keep this in mind in the interior northeast now in terms of our next snowstorm right over the Midwest if we were to take a look at the forecasted um, precipitation um, from the European model so um, um, moving forward to the November 23rd time frame we see that Thursday should be the worst day for you guys Thanksgiving Day right around Wyoming and northern Utah and then Friday that's when the snow should move in um, to Colorado Nebraska and this is where you could experience um, maybe three to six um, inches of snow for the most part as I'll say the forecast is pretty certain at the time there's still questions regarding how far um, east the snow will move because the GFS model is even less confident that this snowfall will be as heavy and doesn't expect as much instability to exist behind this low pressure system and the European model has been trending away from that idea of bringing a stronger low pressure system that would bring more snowfall to the Chicago area. So this could be one of the scenarios where the GFS model actually ends up being the more correct model because it was already initially right in predicting a weaker storm system. And now the European model is sort of playing catch up with what the GFS model is stating. So let's take a look at the GFS model. And um, as you can see at around the same time period, Friday um, to Saturday, we see that this storm is fairly similar in terms of strength but just a bit weaker and there's nothing of it by the time this approaches the proximity of Chicago so the um, GFS model doesn't expect as much cold air behind this storm system and just not an, a lot of instability but still expects a large area of three to six inches of snow which should be expected right around the Midwest so I'm um, taking a look at that we do see Denver is experiencing right around one three inches Wyoming a large area of three to six to six to eight in the northern portions this extends into Nebraska as well but what's interesting is that the snowfall doesn't move as far south in the G uh, GFS model scenario compared to the European model so here's the European models snowfall forecasts and the European model we clearly see a lot more lenient and bringing this further southward and bringing way more snowfall right over Kansas and Nebraska. So I will say the forecast is still relatively uncertain um, for these areas. What will we'll determine how much snowfall you receive is the amount of instability. And we won't really get a good idea until I'll say the Thursday to um to um, Friday time or at least the Wednesday to Thursday time frame once the slow actually moves ashore because then we'll know how much cold air is behind the slow and how much instability um, this will encounter to determine the amount of convective activity and the precipitation rate as it moves over um, Colorado and Wyoming but in these areas expect three to six inches of snow for Kansas and Nebraska it's still a bit more uncertain but I'll keep you guys updated once um, the forecast does become more certain so this is my forecast in general for the entirety of the United States over the next few weeks. So keep in mind that possibility of major snowfall right around the November 30th time frame. Because like I said, when we see a pretty big Arctic blast like the computer models are showing and a clipper system and a strong subtropical low that seem to be moving at around, um, towards each other at around the same time time period that could be a recipe for a significant snowstorm right around the late november to early december time frame so still uh still too early to say anything for certain but it's definitely at least something to be aware of at this point 
for the Northeast and maybe the Ohio Valley as well. So definitely keep that in mind. And then for this next snowstorm moving through the Midwest is my current snowfall forecast. It is subject to change, um, but you should expect three to six inches of snow right around um, Denver, Colorado. And then for Albuquerque, it does become a forecast that's a bit more difficult um, to say because the GFS model wants to bring no snow while the European model wants to bring three the six inches of snow right now i'm forecasting three to six inches of snow but make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's update because that could be certainly subject to change but in the areas that are north and west of denver that's where the forecast is very certain um if you're anywhere just to the east of that that's when it becomes a little bit more spotty the forecast so definitely make sure to stay tuned um as we get more updates um but at this point you should expect three to six inches um in nebraska and kansas as it stands right now but that's it for now guys and i thank you guys for watching